Hope you guys can see my face, my ugly face. <clears throat> What's up guys, it's me, Sneaker Dan, back at again with another new video. And today is the long-awaited um, comparison video, rep versus retail sneakers of the latest Jordan 11 Cool Grays. Um, this video has been long overdue. It's been about over one or two weeks since the promised date. But here they are finally. Um, my red pair has come in and my retail pair has been with me for a while. So let's get down uh, let's get down to the break breakdown of this video and let's begin. So on my right side here, this is the rep cool gray elevens. On my left side is the retail pair. Um so off the bat the boxes are a little different, um that's for sure. Um I was actually really surprised um the actual there was a lot more differences than my initial thoughts of it. Um, off the bat, let's start off with the box. The red box of the Jordan Lemon is pretty standard. You can see there's a jump man on the front, size tag on the side, and the box is in a cool gray type of color. However, on the red, red box, everything looks pretty similar. However, the box by itself, this jump man logo on the red box is way not way bigger, but it's slightly bigger than the retail box. Um, the logo size looks like it's been kind of zoomed in more compared to the retail box um, that I have on my left side. Um, the color also, the color difference is that this one has a lighter tone of gray compared to the retail box as well. Sizes of the box is actually different too. The red box is actually a little more smaller than the retail box. Size tags, size tags are pretty similar. There's not much of a difference between the two. They're pretty similar. Um, I think the the um, the number and the letters are not that much bolded between the two. I think this is the most closest thing or similar, most similar aspect of the box. That's pretty much the box. Garbage bag cover is the same, but no one really gives a crap about those. I'm gonna take off these shoes now. Boom, and boom. These are the shoes. Rep, retail, rep, retail. So, off the initial glance, they're not much different. Um, material feels the same. Uh, even the, not the suede, I think, is this suede? It might be it might be suede or new buck material on the top of the cool grays, but even on those, even on this aspect, they're all pretty similar. Um, they feel the same. They're not much different. If I would actually add, I think the rep actually feels nicer in like in like the feel of the hand. It feels smoother, a little more plush than the retail pair actually. So that's one thing. Um, looks wise, when you first look at them, they're not much different. But if you start like over analyzing them, you can definitely see the difference. So, so let's get down to it. The big difference is the Jumpman logo. The Jumpman logo on the rep pair is actually a little bit bigger than the retail pair. Retail pair is a little bit smaller while the rep pair is actually a little bit bigger. The size difference is not as big unless you have them side by side. Um, a little key note to that as well is that um, certain retails and even reps, the Jumpman always has some sort of issue. They look kind of, you know, really wonky sometimes. So. Those are always going to be a, that's more most likely going to be a quality issue of the shoes on both Nike and also the uh, rep factories on end. But that's a very slight difference. This is a little bit bigger. The, the patent leather height is actually one of the most closest things to it. The patent leather on the rep is actually a little bit bigger, uh, I mean a little bit taller than the retail pair. It might be just a millimeter, but that's like pretty much expected to uh, pretty much expected with a lot of the red pairs. It's not so much that it's you know really noticeable. However, you can definitely tell by um, you know comparing the two. However, at the same time, it also could be a quality issue. Some red pair or some red pairs have lower panel letters, while retails also have some higher panel letters. It really depends on the type of pair you're getting, and if you're lucky enough to even get a you know a really good pair of Jordan Elevens. Another thing is the, um, the back of the 23s, they're pretty similar. Placings are pretty much the same. The ankle height is actually very similar. Um, the toe boxes, 
are very same too. Um, they're not as they're not different. Um, at most, maybe the toe bumps at the retail might be a little bit more wider. Um, however, it's not that big of a deal because once you wear them, you're start stretching them out, so on and so forth. Now then, let's get down to the bottom of the sole. So the bottom of the soles are actually the, I guess you could even say the biggest difference between the retail versus rep. That's where you can actually t tell like the difference between them. Um, the big difference is if you look here off the bat, I don't know if you guys can, I don't know if the video will actually show the difference, but however, I can see them in person right now. Off the first glance, you don't really see much of a difference. However, you put them side by side and you actually look at them very carefully. I'm talking about very, very, very carefully. Um, there is a big difference on the midsole or the bottom sole of the shoe. They're both of the nice icy blues. However, the red pair is actually a lot more lighter, more translucent. You can see a lot more on the bottom as well as it's like a lot more of a lighter color as if like the blue, the icy blue color, is not fully like filling up the, um, filling up the bottom rubber sole actually. That's the biggest difference. The re retail pair is darker, color is a lot more fuller, bolder, um, and it just looks more blue. While the red pair actually looks like the blue is a little bit less. And Moe's actually looks like it's a little bit kind of yellowing already, kind of. Um, that also might be the fact is because this, I got this pair about a month ago. And I'm pretty sure it's been in the FedEx shipment box off of some sort of port for many weeks right now. That also could be a result of the oxidation of the shoe. However, that's the biggest difference between the rep, um, between the retail versus rep of the shoe. Other than that, there's not much difference at all. The, the pattern letter feels the same. The cuts are the same. The new bug or the suede on the top looks the same. It honestly not much so it's not a huge difference between them that like you could even call them out if not like honestly they're the, these are probably the most closest 11s that I've ever seen besides the bread 11s um I will be doing a Concord video so I'm just saving up money or if I have a little bit of pocket change um, I'm probably gonna try to pick up a red pair of the Concord so I can do a Concord verse a like a rep verse retail of the Concord as well as the win like 80 uh, i think the win like 95s or the 82s is the unc colorways i'm gonna do those as well so give you a little bit of heads up but other than that these two are pretty similar um i will say these are pretty much 0.99 to 1 ratio in terms of like the looks materials um the way it's positioned color of the shoes is pretty much almost one to one it's like 0 0.98 0 0.99 very very surprised I got these from Mr. Hugh. Um, I got these for $149. That's including shipped. So $149 shipped. So tells you the price of it. It's pretty much almost half of what the retail pair is of this shoe. So if you're not able to get a retail pair, um, you could always get a rep pair of it. Resale is not that high right now on the retail pair. It's um, I think in the upper 300s. So you will be paying pretty much 50% you'll be paying 50% of what the shoe actually is on resale market for the reps. Um, but other than that, it's pretty much almost the same. Um, oh, give you guys something else actually interesting. So as you guys know, Nike has been cutting back cost. Um, a lot of the 11s, previous 11s, they have a history of giving you that plastic insole. You know what I'm talking about? Like the really good quality insoles. Retail retail pair actually gives you the crappy cardboard in, cardboard um shoe guard or whatever, right? This is the retail pair, guys. They give you this crappy thing. However, actually, I didn't even know until I looked at these right now. When I looked inside, the red pair actually gives you a real plastic shoe guard inside the shoe. Imagine that. Imagine paying one hundred forty nine dollars for a red pair, having almost pretty much the same quality if not literally having the one-to-one -one same quality and almost one-to-one -one looks and they actually give you a plastic guard that's pretty crazy so <laughs> i don't even know what to say to that so they give you actually this that's pretty awesome actually imagine the rep market and rep shoes doing better than the retail imagine that um yeah i'm actually pretty excited i'm pretty happy about this actually but this is what they give you so that, i guess that's one other big huge thing though differentiate the retail versus rep. If someone's selling you a pair of cool gray 11s, 
and they're saying they're real and it doesn't come with this, those those are fake. Those are reps, most likely. UAs, fakes. If they come with this, they're definitely reps or fakes. So don't pay three hundred dollars. Just pay. Don't pay three hundred dollars for some reps, thinking they're real. Pay one hundred fifty dollars if they're reps, because you can get them from Mr. Hugh or any other um, middleman seller. Or if not, you can probably get them cheaper if you use a shipping agent. So yeah, that's pretty much of the video. That's a quick breakdown between the retail versus rep of the Cool Gray Elevens. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment, like, and subscribe. And um, like I said, I have a couple of shoes coming in actually soon. Uh, I might do a review of the Jordan 1 Pollens as well as a review of the Easy 700 reps that I just got for one of my friends. So I hope you guys look forward to those videos. And I'll catch you guys next time. Peace. Ugh.